To use the UDOT Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan app, you must first log in to your UDOT Gmail account. Then open another tab in the same internet browser and navigate to uplan, uplan.maps.arcgis.com. Search uplan on SWPPP, or Stormwater, and filter by apps. Take note that the search functionality looks for the exact word, so searching on SWPP, for example, will yield no results. Choose the app that specifies data and electronic inspection forms secure. If you are signed in to your UDOT Gmail, you will be able to see the forms available to fill out in the different tabs. If you are not signed in, the form will not load. Each time a user submits data in one of the forms, it is saved in a table which can be reviewed by following the link to past responses. This information is tied to your UDOT username, which is why you have to log in to Gmail first. Keep in mind that users only have view rights to the data in the table. You cannot edit the information once you have submitted it. You can review geospatial data for specific sheds in the Map tab. Data in this map is available only to UDOT staff, so it requires you to log in using your network credentials. The search bar allows you to search for and zoom to a specific shed, either by typing the number or by searching on the name. The red star marks the shed location. Clicking on it opens the pop-up and allows you to download the SWIP or start a report or inspection instead of going directly to the tab. Clicking other features will launch the pop-up with information. If there are multiple features in the vicinity, you may need to cycle through them to get to the feature you are interested in. If needed, you can zoom in or out of the map using the scroll wheel or the plus or minus buttons in the lower left. You can pan the map by click-dragging. SWIPs for each shed are also available for download directly from this tab. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you encounter any issues accessing the data in the SWIP app, please contact Central GIS.